next video uh, we can take a look into the process of enabling Kerberos on a cloud alarm cluster using active directory and here I have a single node Cloudera cluster which is managed by Cloudera manager and version is 5.130 and Cloudera manager version is also 5.130 so I use a single uh, node instance and uh, this is my cluster and I have an active directory server running on the same Amazon AWS and uh, I can get the IP public and private IP and host name details from this uh, console and this is my cluster and this is my active directory so I'm going to uh, start administrative tool active directory users and computers so first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a couple of users uh, with the name service account and this is my domain and here I'm just going to create a organization unit where I'm going to create the principles needed uh, for my uh, Hadoop cluster so choose an organization unit just you can choose this protection or if not uh, you can leave so CDH hyphen Kerberos right so this is just a uh, I mean the uh, container or uh, just an organization unit that stores all the uh, principles which is needed uh, by I mean after enabling Kerberos and uh, I have to create uh, another organization unit where I am storing all my service accounts. So service accounts, right? So inside that, I am creating a user. So new user. K R B admin, or uh, you can just use uh, C D H admin any name I can use okay. so CDH admin is the user which I am going to create here is then use the password finish so I have the user CDH admin which I created under service account so I need to uh, provide access to this user because I will be using this uh, CDH admin user for enabling Kerberos so I need to delegate access to that user just right click delegate control continue then choose that username CDH just uncheck the name then CDH admin ok next so what are the permissions you need to create uh, again uh, I don't I'm not certain about these permissions so I'm just selecting all the permissions here so it should be able to create the principle it should be able to read the principle etc so that's it finish so now uh, under the cdh iphone kerberos uh, so my uh, service account so uh, let me uh, get the details like uh, view uh, add advanced features also just go to the service account and uh, right click select the properties then at go to the attribute editor so you can give the f you can get the full name like so cn equal to uh, cdh admin o u equal to service underscore account and uh, dc equal to hadoop and dc equal to so this is the name which i need to use in kerberos uh, also uh, this cdh hyphen kerberos this is the organization it is this detail also need just check attribute editor and uh, this is something like o u equal to cdh kerberos dc equal to hadoop and dc equal to com so I'll, I'll go to this uh, Cloudera manager, go to the administration, <laughs> then go to the security, then enable Kerberos. So before doing that, make sure you have installed JC. So in my case, it's already done. Um, so yes, 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 I have everything. And uh, okay so i have created a proper account for cloudera manager that is a cdh admin uh, client libraries okay so the ldap client libraries so let me uh, install ldap clients here working kdc is fine which is nothing but my active directory here so yum
okay so now uh, so we'll continue here you have two option mitkdc and active directory so select active directory kdc server host this is nothing but active directory ipn host details so choose better choose the private ip why because the public ip may change because i have not opted for an elastic ip so choose the private dns or private host name this is also admin server and kdc server both are same and my ream name is hadoop.com so choosing the default encryption so active directory is suffix so this is organization unit not hadoop so o u equal to uh, cdh hyphen uh, kerberos dc equal to this is the o u equal to cdh hyphen kerberos dc equal to hadoop and dc equal to com o u equal to cdh kerberos so if this is not case sensitive you can use the lower case also or upper case also fine then uh, so active directory delete accounts on uh, then okay so that's it so manage through because this will make sure all the host has proper um, krb file so that means the cloudera manager will edit your krb.conf if you don't want to do that just disable that so i am opting this cloud because if you are already uh, your hosts are already integrated with active directory so you need to be make sure while selecting this so you can uh, select in my case i am okay with this option so i'm selecting okay continue then uh, this is the cdh admin and uh, whatever the password so this is the user i mean the cdh admin which i created under so this user so cdh admin at hadoop.com then continue okay some error so i need to uh, sort it out so it's saying uh, the kt util command is not found so that is because i need to install some of the kerberos client let me install em hyphen y install krb star so i don't know i don't remember the package name mm. krb hyphen client so let me do it with the krb5 star okay so we'll so the error looks like uh, it's not able to uh, find out kt util command so it's not able to uh, get that command so kt util yeah now that command is there just uh, do a retry so that looks okay now so continue so this is the uh, uh, kerberos uh, principle so again you can customize the name so for hdfs yarn and zookeeper it's going to create continue then choose the default uh, ports that's it so it's trying to enable the kerberos so that means it will uh, try to uh, create those principal account in active directory and it has to create uh, those key tabs etc so that show all the steps you can see here
okay so you can see uh, here uh, the principles are getting created here so I don't know it looks like uh, yeah this is the uh, name yarn for yarn uh, this is a, and uh, this may be for some other service count and uh, this is for zookeeper for similarly for every uh, account it, it's created a principle in active directory so after that uh, by you uh, then it will create those principles in active directory and then it create the key tab here then after that it use that key tab and uh, try to do a restart using that uh, key tab files i mean the restarting all the services with those key tab files created so in kerberos you can see whatever the uh, organization unit we have specified where it created the principles for those services so that's it uh, uh, i mean the, it's uh, restarted all the services now uh, done finish so we have successfully uh, completed uh, this Kerberos enabling so now uh, my cluster is uh, enabled and it's uh, running with uh, Kerberos enable mode if you can go, go to the security you can see like uh, the Kerberos principles so these are the principles which created inside the active directory and also in active directory the organization unit you specified you can see the principles are added getting added here so if i add a new principle here so i can uh, i mean if i add a new service or a new new service here then similarly the principles will be get added here also so this is how uh, enabling kerberos works so it's very easy from active directory side uh, this ldap s must be configured uh, then uh, it should be able to communicate in between this server to Active Directory and uh, you need to have an account which has the delegated access on the organization unit you are using and uh, its credential. Also the JC is one of the uh, must prerequisites. You need to have the JC enabled in uh, JDK or uh, JRE whatever the you are using. So that's it about uh, enabling Kerberos. So I hope uh, you were able to uh, follow me and uh, also if you have any uh, question so please use the comment box also subscribe this channel to get more updates so I will be adding uh, more top topics over the time thank you bye